What's up everybody, it's Goose. Um, I'm getting ready to combine these two shelters. I'm gonna put a two by four up here and then connect them, put some tin over the top. Um, pretty much doubling the space I have right here. Uh, I built these about two years ago and they're, they're kinda in rough shape, um, but I need a little more shelter. Uh, this is the pole barn that I'll eventually build. Um, lumber prices have come down, so, uh, hopefully I, I get that knocked out here soon. Um, but, uh, right now I don't have as much shelter as I need over here, so I'm just going to combine these, put a roof over the top, connect them, which I'll, I'll make a video of that. Um, but right now I just want to show y'all this, this, uh, these were my, uh, Cooney Cooney Pig, uh, farrowing huts, um, which I don't. I don't farrow pigs anymore. I don't have cooney cooney pigs anymore. Um, so these have been used for my my goat shelters. Um, and with that being said, uh, if I was going to build these just for pigs, cooney cooney pigs, um, I probably would have made them a little shorter, um, just so they would be lighter. Um, but I, I anticipated um, these possibly becoming goat shelters one day. So I, I, I did go ahead and build them taller. Um, they're four foot tall. Um, which I just, I pretty much made it as simple as I could. Um, the sides are whole sheets of plywood. And then the back is a half sheet of plywood. So um, I cut one piece in half and it covered uh, both the back pieces. Um, so, uh, all right. This one, I'm not really going to show y'all much on that. And I am had some rotten wood, so I'm replacing some wood. I'll just replace that 2 by 4 right there. Um, but this is the first one I built, um, which I had to buy the plywood and the tin, but the, uh, which it's, it's rotten now, so I should have just bought wood probably. Anyway, this was uh, used 2 by 6s and 2 by 4s I built this out of. Um, so that's why it's already rotten this is the, the wood actually came from the house I, I tore down here on my property to bring my mobile home in um, so those two by sixes um, are from 1969 actually uh, which they were solid until they sat out here in the in the rain for two years um, but anyway I built that one out two by sixes just because I had them and they were free um, after I did that I realized uh, I should have used two by eights. This one worked, but um, the two by eights are better because see, you got these little bumpers and what it is, the, the piglets can go in here and get away from the mom. If the, they'll get rolled out of the way if the mom accidentally tries to lay on them and she can't, she can't go all the way to the wall. Uh, the pig lays down this, this two by six right here, stops her and the piglets just slide up underneath there. Um, but I'll show you all the other one. It's a it's a better one um, But I built this one out of two by sixes um, And the two by sixes were a little smaller than I would have liked um, So this one I went and bought two by eights um, And you can see it's much newer wood. This one isn't rotted out yet um, But see the uh, The two by sixes which I got this one in the air uh, maybe I should have waited, but it, it don't matter. You, there's too much old hay in here. You want to be able to see what I was talking about? Um, okay. So like I was saying, the this right here, the side of this 2 by 8 stops the mama pig from laying on the piglets. And they just they just slide in there. Let me go in here so y'all can see more of what it's like. Um, find a good angle. There you, there you go. Yeah. See, baby piglets are safe under here. It's like that on both sides. Um, and then I also put, oh, let me step out of here. And then there, there's this board up. Um, so that way, if this thing was on the ground, see the piglets can walk back here, but the mama pigs can't. So past this board, the piglets are safe. That's their safe zone um 
the mama can't make it back here. Which, like I said, this is for Cooney Cooney pigs. Um, bigger pigs would be able to go over that. Um, but that that board right there, which is 10 inches, about 10 inches off the ground. It's a two by six. Um, so from 10 to 16 inches, that board kept the mama pigs out. Um, uh, so yeah, that's just, step back, you see, all I did was frame out a rectangle with two by eights. And then on both sides, I laid these two by eights down for the little bumper, keep the piglets safe. Um, this one worked really, really well for the, uh, Cooney Cooney pigs, uh, pigs and piglets. Um, like I said, the two by sixes, they were, that, that was a little too small. Still worked, but it, uh, it wasn't, wasn't the right size really. Um, this two by eight worked really good. Um, two by tens would be fine too, I'm sure, because this kind of, it gets cramped once they get that, uh, full of hay. They push all kinds of stuff in there and dirt and, um, but it worked out well for me, um, which Cooney Coon, uh, Cooney Coon, can you say it right now? <laughs> oh, Cooney Cooney piglets and pigs. Uh, it, it, I, I got distracted. Sometimes I say Coon Coon, sometimes I say Cooney Coons. <laughs> I can't even say it now. Uh, it's spelled Coon Coon, so I go back and forth sometimes. Um, Cooney Coonies, they're, they're known for being really good moms, so, um, I never had any problems with them squashing the piglets anyway. Um, uh, last time they're feral for me, they actually did it out in the field, um, and they did fine. They didn't squash any piglets that time either. Um, but, uh, yeah, so eight foot long by four foot wide, so I can use, uh, full sheets of uh, plywood I just framed it out with two by fours um, and now I got it up like this I'm gonna show you how I move it I got I drilled holes through the middle so it would uh, balance the weight I got a, a bar I'm gonna put through there this hollow bar with a piece of threaded rod and uh, I got these tires I can put on it. So I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna show y'all how I move it around. All right, I got the wheels on it and it's ready to roll. Um, these are, uh, I'm pretty sure they're 16 inch. I wanna say they're 16 inch, but it says 11 right there. But there was a sticker on it that said 16 inch. Um, Oh, I bet that that's the rim. Yeah, okay. So, uh, 16 inch tires. These are uh, never flat tires. I got them from uh, Harbor Freight. Uh, I had some smaller tires. Uh, at first I had some some old lawnmower tires, the some front tires off a of lawnmower. Uh, they worked, but they weren't quite big enough. Um, they worked until I hit a little bump or a hill or something. Um, these, uh, 16 inch tires they are they're just big enough um if they were a little bigger that that'd be awesome um but these uh they're big enough to roll her around um and there's the, the bar right in the middle uh like i said i set them in the middle so i could it's kind of balanced i can i can move this back and forth with one hand now um it's got all the weight there in the center um, so with it being balanced like that I can I can push it around by myself pretty easy um, uh, these shelters they they worked out pretty well they uh, they did what they were supposed to the tractor down the road uh, but yeah I I didn't have my four-wheeler when I built these um, if I did it again, now that I have my four-wheeler, I'd, I'd probably put them on skids. Um, but if you're doing it by hand, uh, this it's worked out well. Can I, I think I'm zoomed all the way out, yeah. Uh, like I said, I'm, you know, 
I'm doing this with one finger. Um, the back end's a little heavier because it has more wood. Um, so I usually just get to the back end and push it around. Um, but I'm not going to move it. I just wanted to show y'all um, my, my farrowing hut. Um, worked pretty good. It's uh, real simple, easy to build. Um, when I built it, it was pretty cheap. Uh, wood used to be a lot cheaper two years ago. Uh, I probably should have took better care of it, but, you know, hindsight, right? Uh, but it, anyway, they, they, they took care of the pigs for two years. They've been good shelters. Um, but uh, I'm going to take these wheels out. I'm going to line these things up, put some boards up, and uh, add some more roof to it and make it one uh, stationary shelter um, instead of being mobile anymore. But uh, that's the farrowing hut. I hope y'all got something out of this video. Um, oh yeah, I want to I want to thank thank all the new subscribers. I I just got over 200 subscribers a few days ago, so that's that's pretty cool. I uh, appreciate everybody following along. Um, all the thumbs up, thumbs up I do get. Um, thumbs down, that's fine too. I don't mind. <laughs> but uh, thanks to everybody that subscribed to my little farm channel. Um, but uh. That's oh I wanted to say too. Uh, I've been cleaning this hay out. I'm I'm gonna put fresh hay in here. Trust me, I'm I'm not gonna leave it all nasty like that for the animals. I've that's why the pitchforks there. I've been cleaning it. Um, gonna put some fresh hay in here when I get done. But uh, thanks thanks to everybody uh, for subscribing and watching the videos. I'll see y'all later. Goose out. <sighs>